Hi, I'm Trevor Garner. I'm a plant physiologist at the ACBMG. I work in a project trying to improve the nitrogen use efficiency of cereals. So our project is aimed at improving the nitrogen use efficiency of plants, more specifically by improving the uptake efficiency of plants. That's the way that nitrogen gets from the soil into the plants themselves. Nitrogen is important because there's a large amount of nitrogen in plants. About 4% of plants is nitrogen, so plants need a lot of that. Unfortunately, plants don't, uh, aren't good at taking up nitrogen from the soil. Only about half of the fertiliser that's applied is uh, taken up by plants, and that's a large amount of fertiliser that's just not getting into the plants. About 100 million tonnes of nitrogen fertiliser is applied each year, and so half of that's not being taken up by the plants. That's a huge waste uh, economically, and it's also an environmental problem because that nitrogen ends up going into uh, waterways and uh, into the atmosphere and the process of reducing that uh, nitrogen fertiliser is a huge uh, greenhouse gas load as well. So what we've done recently is to describe for the first time how plants, cereal plants, respond to low nitrogen. So when they've gone from a time of high nitrogen to low nitrogen, what processes within the root specifically and the whole plant generally to enable them to take up nitrogen um, when the nitrogen supply is reduced. So as part of our research, we've identified genes that we think are responsible for controlling that response of the plant to low nitrogen. So these genes are turning on the rest of these genes that enable these plants to take up more nitrogen. And these genes, we're hoping we can manipulate those to increase uptake or we can just use those genes to identify plants that are naturally better able to take up more nitrogen. This project is important uh, from an Australian context because nitrogen fertilizer cost of cereal farmers is one of their biggest costs. It's up there with fuel in terms of their input costs. So if we can reduce uh, that cost, then that'll be uh, a major benefit to farmers. It's a difficult thing for Australian farmers because unlike other places with higher rainfall and higher yields, Australian farmers have to be very careful with nitrogen. If they add too much, that can then uh, lead to hanging off if you have uh, a drought at the end of the season. So Australian farmers are good at managing that, and we want to make sure that uh, the plants they've got are the best at utilising nitrogen fertiliser themselves.